My name is Colleen and I'm a graduate student at the University of Toronto's iSchool. For my summer practicum project, I was paired up with Andrea Marin, head librarian here at the Robertson Davies Library in Massey College at the U of T. The Robertson Davies Library, or the RDL, holds a special collection focused on the book arts and associated practices and techniques of printing, illustration, typography, paper making, and bookbinding from as early as the late 18th century to the mid 20th century. Canadian private press proprietor and printer William Ruder, best known as Will, has donated many items to the RDL from his Aliquando Press and from his own personal collection. Items include everything from the last 60 years worth of work, such as project files, personal correspondences, to books about printing and the book arts, to a special collection of miniature handmade books. When I began this practicum position in June of 2022, there were two remaining boxes of Will's ephemera files and collected pamphlets that needed to be sorted, organized, recorded, filed, and integrated into the library stacks. I was very excited to take on this task and created a handy finding aid to go along with the materials. Andrea and I decided that putting some of these items on the display would be a great way for people to have a chance to learn more about Will Ruder and see some of his work. So here's a look at what I assembled. This first exhibit offers a brief biographical sketch of Will. While we could likely fill several display cases highlighting Will's printing life, I hand-selected a few items that attempt to punctuate a few important items of his that we have in the collection. In the early 1960s, while he was living in London for an extended period of time, he made a deep connection with and was inspired by the Book of Kells, which happened to be on display at the time at the British Museum. While over there, he traveled to the Netherlands to meet his relatives from whom he learned about his great-grandfather, a lithographer in Amsterdam, another source of inspiration and connection to the graphics world. It is also important to note that his father, Gus Ruder, was also a printer who ran the Village Press in Thornhill, Ontario. Upon return to Toronto, he enrolled in the Ontario College of Art, borrowed some equipment, and printed his first book, and from that point forward he knew exactly what he wanted to pursue. Will bought his first press, the Adana Table Model Platon Press, with Bembo typeface, and in 1962 officially started his Eloquando Press and has been printing ever since. The first book he printed was The Bach Fugue, 1962, a short story written by a fellow classmate while in a writing course in London. Even though Will can see the many things he could have done differently, he still loves this book. It also connects him to Carl Dare, someone he has always drawn inspiration from. In one of the articles I read, Will references the original letter that Carl sent to him after reviewing the Bach Fugue. While Dare offered criticisms of the book, rather than give up, Will kept the letter, giving him confidence and inspiration to move forward with his printing. The letter was not included in the two boxes that I processed, but was tracked down in the Aliquando font in a very thick folder and the copy of the book on display came from the Carl Dare collection. Dare had saved the copy that Will had given to him to review. After finishing school, Will worked as a graphic designer at the University of Toronto Press, where he learned even more about printing, book design, and connected with some influential people like Alan Fleming, while also maintaining his own Aliquando Press. In his 30 years at U of T Press, he designed thousands of books in various forms. For context, Toronto was a fertile ground for graphic design, book arts, and typography. Will's friend, Stan Bevington of Coach House Press, traded typography information and even shared the cost of a small font of ornaments. Starting out as a private press can be very expensive. Will and other printers often hung out at Coach House Press. Jumping forward, on the Alicondo Press's 45th anniversary, Will design, printed, and bound the 100th book, Majesty, Order, and Beauty, Selections from the Journals of T.J. Cobden Sanderson, 2007. This incredible piece of art took 18 months, a year and a half to make. Imagine! 
It was a tribute to one of Will's biggest influences, T.J. Compton Sanderson, who was a good friend of William Morris, involved in the arts and crafts movement, and an articulate bookmaker. The paper on the cover is from Will's great uncle, George Ruder, circa 1900s, a way to weave in his past with the present. Within the collection that Will donated to the library, one can find files of his work in progress. This next exhibit displays several items from one folder labeled A Visit with William Morris. It is an interesting way to see the many layers of work that go into the printing of a book, from text drafts, sketches, and color studies, to measurements, test runs, color experimentation, the details and thought that go into the printing of one book are astounding. Since 1962, Alaquando has printed 120 books and 90 broadsides. The next two exhibits highlight some of Will's favorites. In this exhibit, we get to see some of the books. And if you want to get a deeper understanding of Will's views on the world, one should take the time to read through Order Touched with Delight, some personal observations on the nature of the private press with an account of the Alaquando Press from 1982. The binding of this one, Books, 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 is intriguing to examine closely. In this next exhibit, we can see the variety of Will's broadsides, which in turn display his array of printing, design, and engraving talents. In all of his work at Alaquando, Will paid close attention to each aspect of book design, but considered the text itself to be central to how the book or broadside was designed. He doesn't have a standard pattern that he followed. Rather, he was a, quote, steward of the word, unquote, basing the design on the meaning of the written work. There are many other interesting aspects to Will's work. In 1980, Will co-founded The Devil's Artisan, a journal promoting Canadian fine printing, typographic design, and book arts. He is a founding member of the Society of Canadian Book Designers. Will's contribution to the private press and book arts world earned him the Alcuin Society's Robert R. Reed Award and Medal in March of 2013, among other acknowledgments and awards. Chester Grisky recently curated an exhibition on Will's books and broadsides at the Grimsby Public Art Gallery Exhibition and wrote an informative accompanying brochure. Will's work has also been exhibited throughout North America and Japan. Throughout his life, he consistently applied his talents in hand-setting, type, printing, wood engraving, calligraphy, bookbinding, book design, and much more. Will is a longtime friend of the Robertson Davies Library and the people in the bibliography room. Andrea refers to him as, quote, a towering figure in the world of the book arts, unquote. I will close this video with another quote, but this time from Will. Quote, For me, the making of a book is not an exercise in using craft skills, but a constant attempt through the use of materials and graphic elements to respond to a text and to try to keep faith with the author's message. Each new work demands renewed skills and offers new discoveries and new responses to the author's words. Unquote. This exhibit will be on display through September 2022, so be sure to visit us at the Robertson Davies Library. For more information on Will, here's a list of references.